everyone, welcome back to another performance review with the Chuai Hai 12. Today I plan on tackling ZBrush, a program I have seen around a lot but avoided because it seems far too complex. Maybe if I had a need to model something I would have more motivation to learn more about ZBrush. I honestly don't have any expectations of this working out with the Chuai Hai 12. ZBrush is a 3D modelling program which strongly recommends 6GB plus RAM. However, 16GB RAM is preferred. As for hard drive, a minimum of 8GB free hard drive is required, but a 100GB SSD drive is strongly recommended. And Pentium processor is minimum, but Core i5 and above is more preferable. This Chuai Hai 12 only has 4GB RAM compared to the minimum requirement of 6GB. I have just about 13.1GB free space after having moved all of my files to my Seagate hard drive and having removed any extra programs including all of my Addo programs because they take up a fair bit of memory. Also take note that the Chuai Hai 12 runs on Intel Cherry. I don't know how that compares to Pentium which is a minimum requirement for ZBrush but I do know it's not better than Core i5 which is the preferred specs. Installing the program was okay, it didn't take very long, maybe about 2 minutes and a half? The program itself takes about a minute to load up, which isn't too bad considering this is ZBrush. Once loaded, I of course had no idea what I was doing as I hadn't bothered to watch any tutorials. Part of me didn't expect ZBrush to load up. I've always had this impression that it is a power hungry and very intensive program. But I was taken by surprise when I double clicked on the Rhino demo sculpt, it was very quick to load up. I was able to deform the sculpt with ease and also rotate around the canvas which was a really smooth motion. At this point I knew I had to look up some tutorials and learn a little more so that I could test the program. I'm glad the Z Classroom video tutorials on the ZBrush website are completely free and range from beginner tutorials to advanced. I struggle to find tutorials that are as well presented as ZBrushes for some other programs like Critter for example who have tutorials on their website but you need to pay. Anyway, I of course had to begin with the introduction videos which include a total of 14 videos. While following the tutorials, I found a lot of the basic functions such as loading projects and tools from the lightbox and drawing with ZBrush, ZAdd and ZSub etc was nice, smooth and lag free. ZBrush has an autosave feature and every time that happened I had to wait about 30 seconds for it to save, which some people might find as a disruption when working on a model. The wait time for autosave didn't bother me much as I'm just playing around with the program rather than actually doing some serious sculpting. Sometimes I found when clicking on buttons or dialog boxes to make them go away, the program would not respond. For example, when I wanted to make subdivisions, I would get an alert telling me to make the object into a polymesh 3D. Double clicking would sometimes make this dialog box go away, and sometimes I had to repeatedly double click. When I tried to make a few subdivisions at the same time, it takes a program a couple of minutes to process it all. Basically throughout my experience of using ZBrush, I'm able to use the tools etc. But executing some things takes the program a fair bit of time. I also had to take things slow to make sure I wasn't overloading the processes otherwise it would freeze the program and I would have to wait or shut down the program. My verdict for ZBrush on the Chuai Hai 12 is yes it works and runs on here. However, it nowhere near is capable of becoming a device for real ZBrush users. It's maybe okay for someone like myself who already owns a Chuai Hai 12 and wants a little practice and play around on the program, but I definitely would not recommend it if you're serious about ZBrush. Well, that's all I have to say about the ZBrush. Thank you for hanging out with me on my Chuai Hai 12. If you're new to the channel, I have a lot more videos like this where I test out the Chuai Hai 12 and various programs. I have a playlist for them on my channel. In the meantime, please do consider subscribing. Likes and shares are always forever loved. I have my eyes on PaintShop Pro for my next performance review. Until then, bye!